I hate these and you should never buy them. Because they don't exist. This is an amazing render by Moonshake 3D. And what angers me so much is that every single time I see them, I get fooled. But that ends today! We're going to take Moonshake's renders another level towards reality. Now these headphones are absolutely crazy. With its modern retro look, from its minimalistic headband, its wild assortment of wires, to its... Are, are those Raspberry Pis? Is, are those the fours? Ooh, batteries! Batteries? In this economy? Now, really boiling it down is really just the speakers and the aux cord. I know it looks cool, but the Raspberry Pis aren't really doing anything. I can't really afford it. Like, what the heck, man? Two Raspberry Pis. Two ra- Okay, how hard could it be to make it yourself? Hello! A chef of Peter here! Today, we will be making a Raspberry Pi! First, you grab your bread, and then- WHAT ARE YOU?! Okay, let's actually make a Raspberry Pi. First, print out the recipe. How the heck am I gonna cut it? I know! <laughs> Two shots of isopropyl alcohol. Not bad. Grind out a ventilation hole. Duh. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees centigrade. Hello! Harry, oh my god! Why? Stop! So I don't have any USB-C ports, but I do have something even better. <laughs> sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Snip, flambe. Sprinkle everything on. Give it a healthy ABS glaze. Hey, Reese sisters, welcome back to our beauty tutorial. Today, and uh, that's how you're gonna make a raspberry pie. Oh, hey, oh, well, you go. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Like, come on, look, it's uncanny. Let's just get this over with and make the dang headphones. Now, this was scary because there was a lot of incredible detail. I do like the attention to detail that like the wires don't clip through. So this is very is, interesting like, right here. This from what it looks like, so it looks it like it's not from how they the same breath. It said it looks like it's from being able to see the wires. It's very clear. I don't think I could get it that clear. <laughs> this scares me a lot. Like I, I don't know how I'm gonna be designing the actual headphone cup. Um, Hey, I know how. This video was sponsored by- Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up just a second here. Do you, do you see that? Don't you think it's a bit too soon to start selling out? Maybe, but hold up, catch. That was 3D printed. Don't you have a 3D printer? Yes, but I only have an FDM printer. These are transparent pieces, which require much finer detailing. I did try and commission a 3D printer from Etsy to make these exact parts, but they were either way too yellow or just generally never came out right. Even the seller were uncomfortable selling them to me. They even told me that it broke their printer. These were done by JLC PCB's 3D printing services, JLC 3DP. Just upload the STL file, go through the menu options, and get the parts in no time. Yeah, these do look pretty good. I literally couldn't have completed this project without them. So thank you, JLC 3DP for sponsoring this video. I finally finished 3D printing all of these and I would do a drop transition, but some of these are kind of thin and fragile. Dude, I kicked this thing at full force and nothing. What kind of filament did I use? So polyterra PLA. Not bad. Not bad? It was poly terrific! Okay, I need a better hook. Bend map! Snap! Bend, 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 bend. Slide. Bend, bend, boom! Bend, band! Glue, glue! Slam! Wow. Wait, five head. Transfer. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Just enjoy the soldering. Embrace the fumes! Yearn for the lung disease! Let it consume you! <laughs> oh, adios, take the 
go here, that goes here, that goes there. Man, screw this. Hey, get back in the booth and finish the lines. The lines are, look at the screen. It's, it's self-explanatory. Who are you? What is it, Raven? Do you want to be in the video? Hello. What? What is it? Are you saying hi? What is it? Kai, you're still watching this? Go touch some grass or something. Woo! Hey! So, solder doesn't really stick to tinfoil all that well, but you know what does? And remember guys, if it ain't sticky, it ain't tricky. Okay, who the f*** wrote that? And here they finally are, the Moonshake headphones in all its glory. It's kind of a poor recreation. The metal hooks are a little bit longer than what they should be. The paint scratches off and the prints are super rough. But honestly, it's still pretty cool. Now the real question is, how do they sound like crap? They sound like crap. And I expected them to. See, I'm using eight ohm rectangular speakers that I got from AliExpress only because I had them laying around and the original design had rectangular speakers. But you should be able to steal actual drivers from actual headphones and they should sound so much better. And also because of this extra wire run, this side is noticeably wider. This thing is also pretty hefty. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. It's all about style and personally, I think it looks totally insane. Now it's from this design that I got curious and I was starting to wonder where this inspiration came from. So I reached out and to my surprise, Moonshake 3D is actually ran by just one guy. Everyone say hi to Albert. Yeah, Albert can make it. As it turns out, running an incredible business pretty much on your own, making the godliest renders on earth is pretty tough. Who knew? But he did share with me his inspiration for the design. These are the Califo 2924V and man can I almost smell the computer labs of the early 2010s. These are such an amazing reimagining. So thanks Albert for spending some time chatting with me and an even bigger thanks to contributing to the wonderful community of creativity. A huge thanks to Albert and if you'll excuse me, tonight we shake the moon! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!